Hello and welcome to the info video series of Made Easy, which is an endeavor to actually help the students in handling the various confusions and cures, which is regarding the ESE 2017 Paper 1. Well, when we talk about Paper 1, there are total 10 areas which needs to be covered. And one of the important areas is standards and quality practices in production, construction, maintenance and services. Well, what exactly has to be the coverage of this particular area? To what extent the questions need to be worked on? Today, for this, to handle all these queries, we have with us Mr. A.P. Singh, sir, who is a joint director of Made Easy Group and also a very strong expert in terms of current affairs and general awareness. Welcome, sir, on board. Uh, sir, when we talk about this particular segment, which is very close to engineers, I mean, when we talk about the quality standards and the quality practices, which is something which is inbuilt in the engineering profession. So this, of course, I'm sure is a welcome change. Now, what exactly do you think are going to be the key focus areas for the basic key areas which needs to be handled in this particular segment? See, first, if we see the topic, right, uh, the heading of the topic says the standards and quality practices. So, we have the two parts over there. And one of the uh, part is the standards which has been laid down and number right. two is the quality practices followed. The more emphasis will be on the quality practices which will be fetching a little more number of questions. And that's basically in the four important type of activities over there. We talk about the production, we right, talk sir. about the construction, we talk about the maintenance and then we talk about the services. So, that's a, right, that's a topic it says. Uh, well, sir, now that was the key focus areas. Now, we, when we move on to the elaborate details, what exactly is going to be a checklist for a student that these are the areas which in depth he needs to cover? When we talk about the uh, areas a little in detail, if I right, elaborate sir. the syllabus, right, then uh, what we see, actually, there is uh, two areas, as we have already discussed, one of the standards and sickness of quality practices, right. especially when we talk about the production, construction, maintenance and services there. So initially, if we begin with the standards, so standards may be related to the International Organization for Standardization. It's a Geneva-based organization, an international standards body, which prescribes is, prescribes a number of standards, especially, example, if I say ISO 9000, that's a uh, quality management or ISO 40, thousand that's related to the environment management and along with those standards the counterpart of this ISO body in India is the BIS that's a Bureau of Indian Standard which is IES Indian Standards Institution right officially status has been uh, given by the Parliament of India now that's a BIS prescribes a codes and that's codes right are almost a kind of in consonance with the international codes prescribed by the ISO standard so that's a right one question may come from those areas related to the production construction maintenance and services and apart from this the example there are the other codes like ECBC energy conservation building code so the question may be related to that and plus then there are the certain other areas the question may be coming from those areas example pdca or pdsa plan do check it or plan do study act so that are the areas from where the question come right now six sigma is one of the areas from where the questions are ex ex expected especially in the examination right especially from this uh, kind of a discipline data driven approach and methodology which you mainly use for eliminating the defects so that's right it's from this particular area the questions are expected then another questions may be expected in the fire systems fire systems right where we have got the five important words in Japanese uh, language especially we talk about right if I uh, give in the English version that's a sort or a set in order or shine or standardize or sustain right that's a five important SS order they begin with the S and that's why they're called the fire system so the one area from where the question is expected is this and then there will be the another part of the syllabus especially with respect to the total quality management this is the one most important area when we talk about the syllabus of this standards and quality practices in production construction maintenance and services topic now when those seven quality control tools we talk about the question may be related to the ishikawa diagram that's a fishbone or cause and effect diagram so the one this is the area from where the questions may come check sheets is another area control charts or the histograms so or the Pareto chart or the scatter diagram or the flow chart these are the areas from where the questions may come in the examination right there's the ishikawa seven quality control tools which we talk about so the questions may be from those areas and apart from this there's the kaizen tools the kaizen tools 3m so the three moves whatever we call it right this this is the kaizen tools the question may come from those areas and apart from this kanban systems right one of the important right especially to achieve the git the just in time philosophy over there so the questions may be related to the kanban systems or the lean manufacturing or the git philosophy that may be the questions there and plus the questions may be related to say especially we have already seen the tqm is one important area total quality management example the questions may be related to the deming's 14 principles that's a one area um, the questions uh, will come from and apart from this uh, in fact the two most important important areas to be added to the TQM especially if you combine together is the quality circles and the quality controls that's a quality circle and quality control will be one of the important part and along with the sampling will also be uh, having a quite a good amount of weightage in the question 
right. uh, so we, we can understand that quality is a major concern and that is why it has been uh, you know put up in this paper one now sir when we talk about now, these were the various areas that a student needs to focus now when we talk about the action plan what strategy would you suggest the students that what should be their action plan to handle this segment of paper one Action plan is quite simple, like in terms of when we talk about this topic, uh, as uh, have highlighted the areas right, that are uh, quite uh, known to the people, especially from the engineering academic background. Right, and they would know, or, or at least they would have heard if they don't belong to the streams like mechanical engineer, mm -hmm. engineering or similar streams. So they must have heard about those terms and uh, they had to take reference to the standard material, especially example provided by the institution like Made Easy or right, other uh, standard books, etc. They can take for the reference purpose. So in, in, in short, we can say that uh, the, the material has to be simple, it has to be very, very basic and uh, definitely the questions. And, and what about the practical application of this particular segment? Uh, practical application, yes, it is having a high degree of practical application. In fact, there are the separate uh, programs which uh, right. run uh, on uh, individual component of the quality right. practices over there. And uh, various organizations do follow right some of those uh, special uh, methodologies. The industrial which practices have, of quality yes, management. practices do, do use yes, it. In fact, yes. uh, some of those which have uh, discussed in the past they are right. very much part and parcel of the various industries actual uh, right. happening of the industries right i'm sure the students must have benefited so when we talk about this weightage and the score capacity what exactly is uh, weightage be... may vary from the same that 5 to 15 percent right, right? Uh, it may vary from a minimum of 5 percent to the maximum 15 percent and right. yes it's a very scoring subject so like so all the other segments this segment can also uh, segment have the same actually, kind because of weightage UPSC, when we talk about this uh, syllabus yes, so they have yes. not specified that which topic would be having what main number of specific questions but what they have said out of those 10 topics every topic would be having questions and moreover the weightage may vary from 5 to 15 percent so that's why every year sometimes we may see one of the subjects got a little more question next year it may have a little less question so that so moving on to the general platform i mean you being an expert from adz you represent one of the prestigious institution of india uh, so uh, these changes which are happening in upsc esc 2017 do you consider them to be a welcome change these changes, in fact, were very much needed over the right, longer sir. period of time, considering the kind of a working ambience and the kind of a task and responsibilities are handed over to the people in the engineering services. So what they have done, uh, they have changed the syllabus to make in accordance with the academic syllabus, they recommend the organization where they will be working. Right. And as the time is changing, so how you can inculcate this changing scenario, you're ready for the change, how that change management can be done. And apart from this, as we talk about like the kind of a adaptation of technology has yes, to be sir. taken and that, that has to be taken into consideration. So that has also been imbibed. So, and moreover, as we talk about the environmental concerns nowadays has become one of the key area has been added in the syllabus. Yes. We talk about the information communication technology being one of the important areas as a tool has been added there. Right. Then we talk about uh, ethics and values in engineering profession. Again, is one of the areas uh, which earlier used to be considered of not that much of a great significance, right, but now sir. started being given that much of a due importance. So, the areas so somewhere it's a practical uh, orientation which has been given to the paper and it's a welcome change for all the engineers. Yes. Right, sir. Uh, well, sir, I'm, I'm sure the students must have benefited from the various areas which need to be covered in terms of standard and quality practices in production, construction, maintenance and services. And uh, the, the thing is very simple, stick to basics, go into little in-depth so that you can handle the paper in a much easier manner. I hope you must have benefited from the small video capsule. Thank you so much. For more details, visit www.madeeasy.in.